It's Minute Make Time. Come on, everyone. And here's what we're going to make today. A jazzy pot that holds a lot. Perfect for all your bits and pieces. Now, to make a jazzy pot like this, you will need a plastic tray, lots of bits and pieces like sequins, beads and small toys, a small plastic plant pot, and a rolling pin. Plus, we will need some air drying clay that you can find in an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> I've got it. There's the air drying clay. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? Not a chance. Well, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Great! Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, let's get our lump of air drying clay and roll it into a flat sausage shape. There we go. Just keep rolling. Roll and roll and roll like that. This is looking good. Now let's get our plant pot and cover it in the clay. Here we go. We'll try and cover the whole thing like this and then squidge it down on the bottom there and then overlap it and push everything down to make a pot shape. There we go. This is looking good. Halfway there. Halfway already? Oh, no. There we go. That's nice. And when it's completely covered in clay, we can cover it in the bits and pieces. Get plenty on and you just push them all into place like this. You can do it with your hands like this. You can use whatever bits you like. Ten seconds! Oh, ten seconds to go. Just keep pushing. Got a few seconds left. There we go. Here's my jazzy pot. Fantastic. Just in time. Phew, that was close. And when it's dry and you've got more than a minute, you could cover it in gloopy PVA glue to keep all the bits in place. Yeah, why not try a really big one with a big plant pot? This one is covered in buttons and it's great for keeping your scissors and paintbrushes in. Why not try nuts, bolts and washers? Perfect for your felt tip pens. Jersey pots made in a minute. Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Roll the air drying clay out with a rolling pin. Wrap it around the plant pot so it's totally covered. Then roll it in a tray with all your bits and pieces to make a fantastic jazzy pot. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Time. Hey, it's Minute Make Time! <laughs> it's Minute Make Time and here's what we're going to make today. A pencil bug. Aye, aye, Mr Bug. <coughs> now, to make a pencil bug, you will need two long pieces of wool, four short pieces of wool, a sharp pencil, plus some googly eyes and some air drying clay. Now you can find them in an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. I've got them. Right, here are the googly eyes and I'm going to leave the air drying clay in the bag for the minute. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? Not a chance. Oh, let's find out. I'm going to have to be very quick, but don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Let's make it in a minute. Start the clock. Right, let's get two lumps of air drying clay, one slightly bigger than the other. There we go. I'm just going to rip a little bit off the big bit and make a smaller ball in one hand and a smaller ball in the other. Yep, and put those to the side. Now, these are going to be the head and the body. So let's squidge those together like that. There we are. The head goes on top. Now I'm going to give our pencil bug some hair like this. I'm going to push it in with the pencil. There we go. Now, if I turn it over, there's a one arm on there, that side. Give him an arm on the other side as quickly as I can. Right, now he needs some legs, doesn't he? He needs some legs, so let's give him two. There we go, let's give him some legs there. There's one leg and there's the other. Right, he's looking good, he's looking good. Let's give him some eyes, just squidge those in. There's one and there's two. And now we can give him feet with these smaller balls there. There's one 
and there's two, and then we can just push a pencil in the bottom. That was close. That was close. And when your pencil bug is dry and you've got more than a minute, you could paint it a nice bright colour and maybe cover it in gloopy PVA glue to keep everything stuck together. Plus, there are lots of other ideas you could try too. How about a stripy orange and red one? You can even make one with lots of arms. Ah. Pencil bugs made in a minute. Why don't you try it? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Roll two large balls and two small balls of the clay. Put the large balls together to make a head and a body. Push in the wool with a pencil to make the hair, arms and legs. Stick on your googly eyes. Add the two small balls for feet. Now you can stick your pencil bug onto your pencil. Why don't you try making it in a minute? Oh, it's minute make time. Come on. <laughs> Here's what we're going to make today. A pencil bug. Oh, Mr. Pencil Bug, I'm woolly pleased to see you. <laughs> now to make one of these, you will need some sticky tack, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a pencil, a short piece of wool and a very long piece of wool. Now we'll also need some googly eyes. Now you can get these from an art and craft shop. I'll be back in a tick. I've got them. Here they are. Our googly eyes. Now, do you think it's possible to make this in just one minute? No way! Oh, well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick, though. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Stop the clock! Here we go. Get the long piece of wool and start wrapping it around your hand like this. Round and round it goes. And then carefully slide it off your hand. Get the small piece of wool and then tie it in the middle like that. There we go. Tie it nice and tight. There. And then get a pair of scissors and very carefully cut through the loops there on both sides. There's one side and here's the other side now. There we go, that gives us a fluffy bug. Now we need to glue on these googly eyes, like this. There's one googly eye, there's the other googly eye. And then if we get our sticky tack on the end of our pencil, there it is, we can push it on to our pencil bug. Phew, I made it. Only just. <laughs> yes, and if you've got more than a minute, you can make all sorts of pencil bugs. How about a brilliant blue one? Or even this big one made out of multicoloured wool. Pencil bugs made in a minute. Why don't you try and make one? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Wrap a long piece of wool around your hand and carefully take it off. Tie a smaller piece of wool around the middle of it. Cut the loops of wool around the edges and glue on googly eyes. Stick it on top of the pencil with sticky tack to complete your woolly pencil bug. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? <laughs> a periscope! Oh yes, shipmates. I can see land. I can see... Wait a minute, who's that? Oh, it's you! I was just playing behind the sofa. I'm pretending that this is my submarine and I'm the submarine captain. Yeah, look, I've even got my own periscope. This helps me find things. I'm looking for my lost pencils at the moment. Yeah, maybe you can help me and my submarine find them. OK, let's do it. Right, I'm coming back aboard. Dive, dive, dive! <laughs> Where are they? Well, they're not on the table. No, that's empty. Oh, no, they're not on there. Hang on a minute. Zoom in, please. Hooray! We've found the pencils. Thanks for your help, everyone. That was great fun. And it's given me a great idea. A 
super submarine that's also a pencil case. Let's make it! We'll need some things from the doodle drawers! <laughs> a plastic fabric conditioner bottle with a nice wide neck and a lid. A washing ball with a flat bottom. Plastic containers and pots. Some paint, some tissue paper and a black pen. And some masking tape and some gloopy PVA glue. Whoa! Now, to make your very own fantastic submarine pencil case, like this one here, you first have to get an adult to help you thoroughly clean and dry out a fabric conditioner bottle and all of the other plastic containers. Now, make sure you've got a plastic pot with a lid, like this one here, and also a small plastic bottle with a flip-up lid, like that. Let's start putting all of our bits together. Let's put the fabric conditioner bottle here. That's going to be the main body of our submarine. And let's put the pot on this end here at the back. There we go. Now let's take the washing ball and put it on the end of that pot. And how about the plastic bottle with the flip-up lid? That can go up here, because that's where our periscope's going to be. And so our pencil case can stand up. Let's put the lid on the bottom there. Great! Everything looks in position now, so we can stick it all together with some masking tape. Now, you can put on as much tape as you like to do this, but make sure that you don't put any tape over this open end of the washing ball, because that's where all our pencil sharpeners and rubbers are going to go. Now we can cover it in a layer of gloopy glue and tissue paper. Now you could use strips of yellow tissue paper, like this, or any colour you like, really. Now the more layers of tissue paper you put on, the better it will look. Add as many layers as you want, and then leave it to dry. And when it's dry, you can paint on some details. How about some porthole windows and some stripes on the side? Now, cover your plastic lids with a special mixture that's half paint and half gloopy glue. Let's give it a mix. Finally, when your submarine is all nice and dry, you can add some extra details with a black pen. <laughs> Doesn't it look great? Now, all we need to do is pop some pencils into our new submarine pencil case. And I know just where those pencils are. Won't be a tick. I've got them. Now, we can put anything we like in our new pencil case. We could put big things like these pencils in this end. And we could put smaller things like these rubbers in this end. Fantastic! Now I'll never lose them again! <laughs> Where have they gone this time? <laughs> ah, here's a good idea. Find yourself a box, like this one here, and fill it with lots of cardboard and plastic things that you might normally throw away. You never know when something might come in handy for a really clever make. Like, yes, this empty cardboard kitchen roll tube. It could become... Ooh, a telescope! Ha-ha! Oh, hi there, shipmate! Let's set sail for Maker Island! <laughs> or this role could become... A saxophone! <laughs> or it could be... Oh, it could be... Um, it could be... Uh, 
Wait a minute. Well, I've just had a great idea. Let's make something. Make a gigantic pencil case pencil with an old cardboard tube. Perfect for keeping all your pens and pencils inside. Let's make it! As well as a cardboard tube, we'll need some other things from the doodle drawers. <laughs> some paint. <laughs> some tissue paper and some gloopy PVA glue. Ooh. A pink sponge and some white paper. <laughs> and some sticky tape and a black pen. Whoa! <laughs> now, to make your very own pencil pencil case, like this one here, it's very useful. Look, you can open it up, pop in your pencils, and then they all stay inside. Fantastic! Now, we need to draw a circle on some white paper that's slightly bigger than our cardboard tube. So we're going to draw it around here. Now, a good tip for doing that is to draw around something that's round, like a small plastic bowl, like this. There we go. A perfect circle. Now, we're going to cut this out, but be careful because scissors are sharp. Ooh. Next, make a snip in this circle, just up to the middle. Now that's going to be starting here and going up just to about there. Now this snip will help us curl this circle into a cone shape. Watch, here we go. Now this is a bit fiddly and slightly tricky, so you might want to ask an adult to help you. There we go. There's our cone. Now we can use some sticky tape to stick it in place. Great! So there is our cone. Now this is going to be the tip on the end of our pencil. So we need to use some sticky tape to stick our cone onto the end of our cardboard tube. <laughs> Next we need to cover our pencil shape with a layer of tissue paper and a very special gloopy mixture which is made up of half gloopy glue and half water. <laughs> Let's give it a mix. Now let's cover the whole thing and then leave it to dry. When it's dry, we can paint our pencil. Now, you can choose whatever colours you like, but how about we do a yellow pencil with a silver band and a pink rubber on the end? And when the paint is dry, we can add some extra detail with a black pen. That's a point at the end of the pencil, some nice lines running all the way along, and then maybe some rivets at the end holding the rubber in place. <laughs> Finally, to stop all of our pens and pencils falling out of the other end, we need to draw around the open end of our pencil pencil case onto some pink sponge. There we go. That gives us a lovely, perfect circle. Now, we're going to cut this out very carefully, but this is a bit tricky, so you might want to ask an adult to help you with this bit. <laughs> now, we can pop all of our pens and pencils into the end of our pencil pencil case. Here they go. And get our foam circle, squeeze it in, and it holds everything in place. <laughs> there, isn't that great? A really handy pencil pencil case. Fantastic. And you can make any sort of pencil case that you like. How about a small pencil pencil case made out of a really short tube? Or how about 
a really big pencil pencil case made from a really big cardboard tube. Fantastic! Those cardboard tubes just keep getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Imagine if there was one even bigger than that. No, that would never happen. <laughs> wow! What a knockout! <laughs> Although I think I'm going to have trouble finding a box big enough to put this in. <laughs>